Hey everyone, so today I want to move into a slightly different topic, kind of feeds a bit off uh, my previous one where we were talking about sort of are you ready for doing anything and I want to start talking a bit about teaching, uh, giving some advice particularly to kind of newer teachers but also to kind of established teachers that maybe haven't thought through all aspects of the teaching. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I want to start by talking about a word that apparently a lot of people haven't heard before which is pedagogy. Okay, uh, for those that haven't heard it, pedagogy, very simply, the discipline of teaching, uh, you know, the techniques involved in teaching well. Um, and I think that a lot of HEMA practitioners and instructors don't have a pedagogy background. I certainly didn't, uh, either in kind of general teaching or in sports specific teaching. And as a result, a lot of the time, we just kind of fall into habits based upon what we were taught and sort of what we seem to like when we've gone to uh, drills and stuff like that, to so done drills at uh, events or whatever it happens to be, um, rather than necessarily having a very considered way of, of looking at things. Um, I don't want to get into too many specifics uh, in this video. Um, and as I say, I'm not uh, trained in pedagogy formally, but my wife is very highly trained in that. In fact, she has a PhD in science education. so by osmosis, I've managed to pick up a few bits and pieces. And I think the main thing that I want to get across with this, uh, this video is that there are sort of three kind of different aspects in this regard, that three things you need to have really before, um, before you can be a really excellent teacher and they are connected, but, but not, uh, not, not identical. Right. Um, and this kind of follows, uh, typical ways as this cut down yeah. people who talk about pedagogy. Um, so the first is uh, subject knowledge, right? In the context of HEMA, subject knowledge is being reason to go and knowing how to hit people with swords, right? Um, knowledge is not the same necessarily as performance here, right? Because of course, um, sometimes uh, people perform well because of their physical characteristics. They're tall and have big reefs. They're super fast or they're super strong. Right, which is stronger and faster than their opponent, um, which, you know, yeah, fine, you can train, you can, you know, you can do exercises and stuff like that to improve that, but you can't exactly teach being tall, for instance. Um, so knowledge, subject knowledge, knowledge of fencing, knowledge of what you're teaching, not just the subject matter. Um, but just having that isn't sufficient for you to become a good teacher, right? You can know a lot and not be very good at articulating it. Uh, or not being very good at helping another person learn it, uh, apply it, uh, and I'll, I'll come back to what I think learning looks like. Um, so subject knowledge alone is not good enough. Uh, the second component needed to kind of excel in teaching is pedagogical knowledge, knowledge of strategies for teaching. Um, and this is mostly generic, right? A lot of this stuff is generic in terms of uh, at least for sort of sports teaching. Uh, and if you're looking at sort of, you know, books around sports pedagogy, almost all of it is going to be applicable to HEMA, right? Sort of general physical pedagogy, right? It's a bit different to teach science than it is to teach, you know, a sport, but it's much less difference in terms of methods for teaching, you know, rugby or tennis versus fencing than it is to something else. So there is still plenty of generic pedagogy out there. And the third element, which I'll be very quick because you can hear my coffee brewing, um, you know, we've got your subject knowledge, we've got the pedagogy knowledge, um, and then you have the third element being subject specific pedagogical knowledge, right? Uh, and this you will only be able to develop kind of over time. There aren't many HEMA specific pedagogy books, um, but when we're talking about this, we're talking about things like what are the common things people mess up when they're doing a downward strike, uh, or when they're standing in this guard, or what guards do people struggle with when they're learning? Uh, what works and what doesn't work when trying to teach a particular technique, you know, a Zornhau or a Karachani or whatever it happens to be. Common mistakes, again, the people making these circumstances. Uh, and there is no body that you can go to for this in HEMA, right? Some of us have it in our heads and haven't necessarily written it down. Uh, there are certain techniques, uh, for instance, in Vardy that I know if I teach a class on it, half the students will do it in the wrong direction. Um, and I'll go to them and say, no, it's the other direction, it's fine, right? So the subject specific pedagogical knowledge is knowing specifically how to teach particular aspects of your subject uh, that uh, are kind of difficult uh, or have particular common mistakes. And 
it's best, I think, if we start to try and make that explicit as things go on. So on my class notes, I have a section for kind of, uh, I, have every, I have a class panel online and I have a section at the end of it for kind of teaching notes where if these mistakes are coming up, I will add a teaching notes. I'm not necessarily as rigorous as I should be so that next time I can look at it and say, oh yeah, yeah, this is a mistake that people make and it becomes sort of developed that way. So when you're going into teaching for the first time, uh, remember that you need to, yeah, you need to know what you're teaching, right? Not necessarily perfectly, but you need to have some knowledge of what it is you're trying to teach, subject knowledge. You need to know what effective and ineffective teaching methods are for physical skills, sports pedagogy, and over time you need to develop an understanding of what the common mistakes people will make for the exercises that you're giving, for the techniques you're trying to teach, so that you can adapt them and understand exactly how to teach them perfectly, uh, or better at least, uh, to the next set of students you're going to teach it to. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.